All right, guys, so last night, Bandai had a bit of an event called Dragon Ball Games Fight Hour, and people were expecting some hype things from it. There was lots of battles and things like fighters, etc. They also done like some detailed reviews of the new character for Dragon Ball Z Fighters, which is Gogeta, and, well, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Can't, can't get the monkey wrong or people will be upset at me. But what I'm going to talk about today is a game involving this little guy here, Goku, and it's Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It revealed its final DLC, and it's a good one, guys. Let's jump in. Well, last night at the Dragon Ball Games Fighting Hour event, Bandai came out and they announced the next DLC, which should be the final DLC for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. The last two episodes of the DLC were both based on Dragon Ball Z movies, the first of which being Realm of Gods, the second of one being Resurrection F. A lot of people thought that the next one would be based on a movie as well. But instead of looking forward, they've actually looked back the way. And they've brought out a DLC that's coming out in early summertime based on one of the TV specials. And that TV special is The History of Trunks. Now this DLC is actually going to be called Trunks The Warrior of Hope. But it's clearly based on the TV special The History of Trunks. To people not familiar with this story, it's an alternate timeline where Goku actually dies of the heart disease. In this world, the androids have taken over, they've wiped out most of mankind, and all, that left is a f all that's left is a few pockets of resistance trying to take down the android menace. Trunks has seen everyone he loves, apart from his mother, die, and the only person he has left in this world is his master, Gohan. Gohan, trying to teach Trunks the way to fight, as he hasn't had a father there, and he hasn't had Goku there to train him, has to teach him how to try and take on the androids. This is a very beloved story. While this story is going to predominantly focus on Trunks, you have to imagine at certain points we're going to get to control Gohan, which will actually be really enjoyable for fans. And we may get to see some of the earlier fights when the androids actually killed the Z fighters. So it's unknown yet, in the trailer it looks like you might just get to see that in some form of cutscene, but it is entirely possible that we'll get to play those sections and then the bits we're seeing in the trailer are actually cutscenes that will happen after the fights. So fingers crossed we might get to try most characters in this game. The only in this DLC, sorry. The only ones that we won't get to see will be Goku and Vegeta as they don't appear in this story. Now, emotionally speaking, this is one of the most emotional stories that Dragon Ball has to date. And if they do it well, you could see a lot of people um, actually breaking down because it is pretty sad. It's definitely a very, very sad story. And as it's a TV special, it's actually entirely possible that quite a lot of people haven't seen it. So it could be a new experience for quite a lot of people as well. Personally, I can't wait to play this one. I do have the season pass. I've had it since the word go. And I'm really dying to jump in and get a shot of Trunks and try out this storyline. Because it is a lot of fun watching the story. Um, yeah, despite it being emotional in places, it is really, really enjoyable. And it should be a fun one to play through. The thing I'm now asking myself is, what's next? It's supposed to be the final DLC. Will it really be the final DLC? And what's going to be next from the franchise? Now, I think... Kakarot's had enough success that they will most likely follow up on this game. Um, a full-blooded sequel is kind of needed at this point as they have now went to the, the well with regards to content from the Z series. Yeah, they could have made more DLC regarding the movies, um, but those movies are generally regarded as non-canonical. Um, these things that they've got as DLC are pretty much classed as canon. Um, so... It makes sense that they added these in and not some of the other movies like Cooler, etc. So, basically, what's next? There's a couple of options. The most likely option would be that they did Dragon Ball Super. The only problem I see with Dragon Ball Super is the first couple of arcs of Dragon Ball Super do cover the Realm of Gods movie and the Resurrection F movie. So a lot of that content will already have been covered via DLC for Kakarot. So it makes me wonder what they would actually do. Would they just skip that and start from say the Goku Black arc? It's hard to tell. So I don't know if they'll necessarily go down that route. You've also got 
GT. They could go into GT, but again, GT is not canon and it was not actually that loved by a lot of the fan base, so it's hard to see how that would sell. They also do have the option where they could roll both of these things together. <clears throat> and for DLC, they could give a what if style package regarding the movie characters. So you could see the likes of Cooler, etc., appearing in the game. There's also the possibility that they could tap into the Dragon Ball Heroes verse and basically start using those characters um, so that you could have things that are a bit more what if than canon gameplay. So we'll need to see what actually happens, but I don't think that we're done with the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot franchise. Might not be called Kakarot in the future, but I think this open world RPG formula for Dragon Ball games is definitely here to stay. So it's just now a matter of how long we're going to have to wait till we get another game in this similar vein. So guys, what's your thoughts? Are you looking forward to getting the DLC for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Did you enjoy the game? Um, I know for some people it's a bit hit and miss, they don't really like it, some people absolutely adore it. What was your thoughts on it? Do you enjoy the game? Are you looking forward to this DLC? Let me know in the comments down below and please consider subscribing to the channel. Still new, still finding my feet, but all your support at this point is very much appreciated. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.